Hey, what's going on, Raise Right Fishing fans? We are here to talk about a tournament coming up. It's coming up next weekend. Next weekend. So, we just kind of wanted to give you guys what our thoughts are. And then you can see how stupid those decisions were after the tournament. We'll do another video showing you that we didn't listen to anything that we're going to talk about now. And we did really well. But that's the goal. I mean, learn. So learn, learn and adapt. So if we're saying anything and you guys out there are like, yo, don't do that, bro. That's dumb. Say something so that we don't, so we don't look out. <laughs> okay, so I might be doing most of the talking here for this one. Uh, yeah, you have the boat. Cole has the boat. I just, I'm, he's net boy. I'm the second He's net boy. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, I've got the boat. So anyway, so the lake we're having our, our tournament on next weekend, I just came off that same lake with a tournament I fished with my wife. And uh, it was open. It was an open. Yep. It was our club open. And it was, for me, it was tough to say the least. Um, you know, I, you know, previous videos I mentioned this week, I've been fishing seriously now for oh, freedom. Only, only a few years. And uh, if I had to pick my two weak points, it would be uh, the, sum, the summer bite, <laughs> the summer bite, <laughs> and the winter bite. Okay. And so uh, this this last weekend was the first really hot, really sunny day that, that we've been out this year. And uh, I I tried to adapt a little bit, um, taking some knowledge with with the fish moving out to secondary points, getting into deeper water. And so uh, I was fishing the ledges. I was fishing some points. What was the water temp? The water temp was sitting at about eighty-three. Ugh. Yeah, it was. It's too, it's it's too not fun. To yeah, it was. Uh, I think maybe like a one mile an hour. So you wind tried real guest. One mile an hour wind guest. Oh yeah, it was. It was yeah terrible. Oh, blowing the boat all over the place. <laughs> but it was real stagnant and it was hot. Oh. And uh, that sounds terrible. Yeah. And so my thought: Why did you fish it? Because it's fun. Well, it is fun. I had a lot of fun. It sounds terrible. And I actually learned a lot. I hope it's not that way for our time. It might be. I think it's supposed to rain, too. Uh, I'm all right with it. All right. Fishing rain. So, anyway, so go, going into this, uh, my wife and I fished the lake the night before just to kind of see what was going on. And I was throwing the, uh, uh, the Guggen Recon. Uh, it just a... We're not sponsored by no nobody. No, no sponsors here. No, except for you that's no watching, and you're like, hey, we need to get a hold of these guys. <laughs> Give us a call. We, Give us a ring. When we mention a bait <laughs> or a brand, we are giving you 100 percent honest. 100 percent. It is, sucks. It's they're not good. Paying, they're not paying it's us. Crap. It's awesome. They're not paying us. They're it's not giving us expensive. anything. Whatever. We're trying to get the best bait out there to win some money, win some tournaments, and we don't make a whole lot of money. No, it no. it matters. But anyway, so <laughs> anyway, so the, the week before, uh, I, I threw the Guggen Recon, search bait, covered some water. Actually, caught quite a few fish. The crankbait, yeah. All, yes, crankbait. Yeah, crank uh, mid mid diving crankbait. I think about eight to twelve feet. Um, and uh, so what, I got. What were you throwing it on? Cane pole. A fishing pole. That's a <laughs> cane pole. A fishing pole, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! I had a. It was a. So I got I got three rods. I got oh, uh, I got two seven foot medium heavies, and I got a seven foot heavy. Tell them about one. Okay. <laughs> Tell them about one. We'll do another video there. I'll, I'll do it now because I'm going to spend some time talking about that one. So we'll do another video. About I made him a rod. No big deal. He makes he makes custom rods. He orders <laughs> them from Muddle. We order our stuff from Muddle.com, and he'll put them together. He made me a really cool one. But we'll do a video dedicated. To that. All right, recon. Recon. Did you catch anything? Caught a lot of fish. How big were they? They're all about 10, 11 inches. I don't want to throw a recon this weekend. No, I'm just telling you what's going on. I'm okay. I don't talk. want. No, this is pre tournament. I I'm talking about what I did last week that didn't work. I don't care. Anyway, so the winners of that tournament found some yes. really good offshore spots and yes. they were they were drop shotting, they were dragging jigs. They, they had their offshore spots found. That I didn't take the time to find because were they local? They, two of them were local. Ugh, local. The first and set, first and third place they were local, you. They get you. and they knew what they were doing. But it's fun, dude. They had two, so 
They were asking two, what they were using. They were two, you yeah. should have bought their baits for them after the tournament. Two 17-year-olds split up, one fishing with their dad and one fishing with their grandpa. So they were having some good time. Awesome. Awesome to see them out there. And uh, anyway, so what are we doing? Well, I'm guessing I'm going to need to go find some offshore stuff. When are we launching? Did we drop our launches yet? We didn't drop our launches yet. We uh, we launched it. Was there anybody else that's in the fishing morning? this weekend, fishing that tournament? Or the US? We had a couple club members there. So they know as well. They know. They know, and we know. And so that most of you guys know, most of the lakes we fish are no wake. We're on that level. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. But smaller well, lakes in Iowa, no wake, so yeah, no wake. So launch kind of matters. It does because, because you can't pass. You can't pass in our league. So if you're first, you're getting whatever spot you want. So anyway, I'm gonna go down Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon. That'll be good. I'm gonna graph for. I think I'm going jet skiing with Dad. Okay. Saturday. Well, I'm gonna do the work for us. That works. Okay. I like that. I'm gonna graph. I'm gonna turn on some turn on some music. Drive around a little bit. I'm going to grab for about two or three hours. I'm going to try to find some offshore spots. I marked a little bit last weekend as we were going around just because I knew we'd be coming back. So oh, I know sorry. some. I'm actually going to go down there. I'm going to strip and grid. Strip and grid. I'm going to strip and grid the lake. We're going to, we're going to find our spots. Okay. And then last week when the bite slowed down, I used the. When did the bite slow down? The light. As soon as we got there. <laughs> no. <laughs> So in the morning it was a decent bite. Then, uh, great then, then it warmed up. Once the sun came out, it, I slowed down my fishing a little bit because our, our bite wasn't coming in, and so we slowed down a little bit. I haven't done this before, but I heard of just there's a ton of craze out there about using bigger worms in the summer, especially when you're trying to target bigger fish. So I like bigger worms in the fall. I've never tried bigger worms in the summer. summer. They caught some fish. I fished a lot. I didn't catch the fish we wanted, but they caught some fish. Big, big ball stuff. So anyway, so we threw the 10-inch Mondo worm on a shaky head, and me and my wife both had some success on it. Okay. And uh, like a worm on a shaky head. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. I caught a 5-inch bass on a 10-inch worm. Dang, dude. So they bite whatever. Props, though. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> All right. So, Fair so enough. anyway... A lot of people throwing worms out here these days. Yeah? Probably, yeah. I want to dig into a creature bait. Mm. I what think I like my style. I, a style of worm. Like, it's a plastic worm. You know, it's like everybody's throwing plastic worms or people are throwing like the old school curly tail culprit worms. It's still a worm. <sighs> Pressured lakes get a lot well, of you plastic. You just said no, most <laughs> people are throwing worms. So what I want to do is try something different by throwing a worm. No, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's, a creature bait. <laughs> it's a profile difference. Oh my gosh. Okay. You gotta change it up on these pressure lakes. Right? Alright. Am I right? Tell me in the comments below that I'm right. Don't tell me anything else. Don't say he's so, right. Okay. Don't so you else. want to throw a creature bait. I want I wanna try I haven't experienced with creature baits a whole lot. Okay. But I feel you know, I just got it's it's right here, man. Alright. Right here in the gut. Well, I'll tell you what. Creature bait. I'll see you here next week after the tournament. Mm -hmm. and I will let y'all know how much Cole sucked with this creature. What are you going to throw? Based on your intel, what I is, don't know. He's asking me these questions. Talking <laughs> on me for answering what I want to throw. What well, my hunch is. You haven't collected the intelligence yet. Yeah. Okay. First of all, key point here. These conversations, these videos we're posting pre-tournament, they will be posted Post tournament, because we got some people out there that might want to watch these and see what we're gonna do, and we're not probably gonna let not. that happen. Well, but they, they might, probably not. They could. I'm uh, telling you right now, if, if Nate, if he put, if he starts posting true. pre tournament videos, I'm watching those. I'm watching Nate too. I'm watching them. He does pretty good. Baden okay. and Trent, Baden. I watch them. Yeah, they're goofy too, man. They're fun to watch. So anyway, so these, All right. these will actually be at, posted after our tournaments. We will talk to you. After the tournaments, yep. hit subscribe. Wish us luck. Yep. Hit, hit the little like button because we know you liked it because you're still here watching it. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Later.